Let's go turn up radio, baby. Reprimanding somebody because I just want to say that somebody in particular Ow. was omitted from the tanning session. It is what it is. But I I'm already dark. I don't need no tan. Oh, you're talking about yourself. <laughs> wow. I could be extra funny, but I'm going to keep it clean. Uh, I am feeling so you amazing after that. I didn't say anything. Oh. I didn't oh, curse. You said, no, I didn't say you did. I said you got some money. No, I don't have any money. It's Christmas um, time. Do I have any money? What kind of question is that? I'm broke. <laughs> I'm spending money I'm getting paid for next week. I'm spending two weeks from now's check. Listen. And I don't care. People on the front, like, they front for the gram. I don't got it. <laughs> so. And I don't got it neither. And I, I don't, don't got it. Matter of fact. People are getting five dollars scars with old nigga with a smile. Yeah. I could care less. And to be quite frank, I'm so tired. Okay. And what I say is, I hate to cu- come across as the Grinch. Because for years, I I've loved Christmas. And it's all been about ice skating and carols and shopping and spending all this money. Again, being black and white has given me insight to so much, and uh, it's, what do you, stop doing that, because I'm, I'm, to the camera, say hi. I'm, hi, I'm, but I'm mid combo. you break, break my whole thought. When you're black and white, it gives insight to how um, one half and the other half lives, so when you see one set of people spending all this money that they have, <laughs> that's dope, it's like, woohoo, but what the other half doesn't have it, the amount of um, envy that comes with Christmas and holidays like this is crazy. So I really think that Christmas is dope because it brings families together and you spend more time with individuals you may have not seen for some time. But when it comes down to the monetary component, I'm so tired of, you know, people's Christmas lists including cars and, you know, 65 inch, you know, screen TVs when your kind of bill isn't paid. If you need a TV, that's fine. It's the best time to get one. But if you don't, I'm not putting that in your stocking. I just think it's gotten out of control. It's a competition. My parents used to fight with who was getting what for who. Uh, you know, my mother still does that. Sorry, mom. She still does that. Every time I, you know, Christmas comes, you know, it's it's like she pulls a whatever out out the uh, from under the tree. So I just think it's enough. It's annoying. I can't wait for Christmas to be over. I know. I know one thing. I can't wait to take this hat off because I have such a headache. I know my forehead is massive, but this has cut off the circulation to like. <laughs> my ears are like no. I'm serious. And I don't even, am I still glowing? Am I still lit? Awesome. We are glowing! Happy holidays! What did you drink? Because apparently we're not drinking the same. Is that eggnog? What do you got in that cup? Is that that, is that, that white good stuff? What do you got in there? Because this is some basic vodka. I mean, you're, you're freaking me out. You good? Happy holidays! I mean, who was downstairs? Turn was up radio! Oh my god. I mean, was he just in, wait, 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 was he hanging out the window? Because it's just, this is, are you okay? I'm okay. Good. Are you okay? Oh, I'm great. Uh, are these Giants colors? Because you see I'm wearing my Knicks. Listen, I just, let pick, me tell you. I just pick itch up that just matches. That will not match. It's, it's, I, uh, let me just tell you, because this year, yeah, I know the Giants is a hot mess this week. And, and, and the Jets were not, no, not that much better. Uh, New York is tough. Be back. I, again, I don't care how much we lose by. Turn up radio. And L and it's tough to be a New York fan in general because guess what? We haven't won anything in how long? See, he's going to be mad because we go, okay, so here, kids, here's the secret, right? Because he's going downstairs. So I got like 10 minutes to myself. So uh, we'll talk in code because it's FM radio. If anybody who knows me understands that uh, I love uh, the botanical gardens. Okay, maybe you can figure that out. And we were just downstairs taking a tour. Uh, with special lights. So when I'm upstairs, I'm extra happy, and you can take from that what you want, and a certain DJ uh, was working while we were situating ourselves, and now 
he uh, he thinks he's going downstairs to the rest of the situation. Well, the situation is Elfin. Uh, I'm here to tell you that we're all feeling extra happy, and he's going to be so so when he goes downstairs and realizes it's a no no. Uh, anyway, now that we don't have cool kids screaming into the mic, uh, and it's just me and Tanya, uh, we can be candid. Speaking of, because there was a conversation, and we all go into the specifics of gray sweatpants, and, hey. you know, we had the whole issue with Christmas being my favorite time of the year formally, and now it's a financial stress, but sweatpants, ladies, I think we can all yes. say that. That is our favorite time of the year, because starting uh -huh. in that crisp October air, mm -hmm. those gray sweatpants come, come out. And let me just say this, uh, there was a gentleman who didn't know what I was talking about when we mentioned the gray sweatpant effect, and... Um, that leads me to two things. You were bought up in corduroys and you've never worn <laughs> sweatpants or you have a little situation and that's why you don't have, leave a print. Uh, you leave a little mount and that's and that's sad. So, um, you know, it, it, if, if you don't have a package, gentlemen, don't wear gray sweatpants because... Don't wear gray sweatpants. Don't wear gray sweatpants um, because that's... I'm being honest and if I'm wrong, you can call me on it, but I think most people will agree, especially women. If you don't have a package, not with Grace Sweatpants, you're setting yourself up for failure. Okay, uh, <laughs> speaking to the Christmas theme, since that's what we, since we, this is where we are. And it's our last show of the year. And it is our last show of the year, 2018. I can't wait to be done with this year. Not because it was a negative year, it was great, but I always like the new, the fresh, it's over. Okay, how many people do we lose this year? Some happy, some not so much. I mean, we lost a lot of people. Today. Who died today? Um, what's her face? Penny, uh, 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 Shamil, Shamazel, Laverne. Don't start it. Laverne and Shirley? Yes, Laverne. I can't. And these are icons. Where, this is what gets me sad. When you start seeing certain people die from certain shows you grew up on, you know it's inevitable. We're all going. Yeah. Now, when you're younger, you think it's like a, like, like it's like a, you know, a myth. Only some people old die. people die. Right. Only old people die. Hello? It's because you're eight years old. I mean, you're not going to get to be 88 years old. So it's a wake-up call. Uh, Aretha was tough for me this year. Um so it's tough for a lot of people. I think, you know, when you lose anybody, it brings certain memories back to Stanley. how you came to Stan Lee. You know, that's a whole era of uh, just art and movies and mm -hmm. just entertainment. Uh, and, and what's crazy is the layers of entertainment they've developed and, and left with us. So we're happy that they were here. Sad they're gone. Um, what I would like to touch on, which I think is kind of interesting, is a lot of people uh, are very sensitive. And I went to go see Santa this uh, Saturday with my kid. I'm with my mother. My mother's the black parent, so it's always very interesting. Um, I'm inappropriate, but with her, it's just times two. It's just, it's it's elevated. And, you know, we're like fourth in line. We're at some white mall, and um, there was a black couple in front of us, so I felt more comfortable. Santa's white. I don't care. Bottom line is my daughter is sitting on Santa's lap at this point, and I'm sitting next to the right, and my mother's on the left, and he says... Is it okay if I put my arms around you, ladies? And I look at him and I go, the more important issue is you my kids running on my, my daughter's running on your lap. <laughs> this is just what we do. This is Santa Claus. I mean, you know, like I didn't, I, I wasn't feeling like this is a me too situation, but since you brought it up. Mm -hmm. So I said, uh, I said, I'm okay with you putting your arm around me. I said, how many, I said, you okay? Because now he's looking at me like a little nervous. He's, he's, I said, you okay? I said, you could, I said, I'm not going to come. I said, what's Santa? 88? <laughs> what you want to do? Come back in 20 years and sue you? Me too, yeah? And, and so now the whole line is secretly dying laughing. But I'm lucky I had a group of people with a sense of humor. Have you ever been with one of your friends who you thought was normal and then you realize they're crazy? Yeah. I'm good. One less person to write a Christmas card for because I'm not dealing with crazy. There's certain things that should be harmless and intimate and just, you know, good, good memories. Not tainted by Santa touching my shoulder. Brutal. Listen, Baby Santa baby. Outside. Coming down the chimney tonight, and I don't know. They haven't even. What's the song they have a problem with? Baby is cold outside. Baby is cold. I have a bigger issue with Santa, baby. Listen, right. And that's my sister Mary Louise. Get your, get your, get off the, put down the mic. <laughs> bottom, bottom line is, if you don't have a problem with Santa, baby, coming down my chimney tonight. Which, what, what you think the chimney is? Right. Since you want to do parallels, I'm talking about palm trees and tanning and in, in the right. winter. What you think the parallel is for that? So if we have a problem with baby, it's cold outside. How can we not have a problem with half of Cardi's repertoire for the year? It can't be one versus the other. It can't be. You can't have it where uh, people are offended by everything. So now you they can't are. have a conversation. You can't talk about race, 
sex. Oh, okay. So I was on Instagram the other day, and I'm sure he's listening because I already told him he knows where he can find me. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> I'm ready to fight. <laughs> it's, like, it's not even about that. Like it's so crazy because I'm I'm gonna be 38 next year. So this is I'm not some young buck. I've been around for a long time, and the black half of me ages very well. The white half double transforming. I got it. I work for a plastic surgeon as well. We'll take care of that in a couple of months. Now, back to the gentleman on my Instagram. I commented on a post. Somebody had mentioned that there's a code so that you don't have to get unnecessary calls. All these solicitations, you can punch in a code to block these calls. I was so excited I tried it, it didn't work. I left feedback on this person's page just saying it didn't work. I got jumped on by like 15 different people because I said it doesn't work for iPhone. It didn't because I saw other comments and I was like, if you get a code for iPhone, let me know. It's just a general statement. The person jumps in they say it's not about the phone, it's about the service. As if I was making fun of people with Androids. First of all, this is- man, come hang out with us back here. You can't do Step that. Step into the room. Because he is, I mean, oh, it is a WWF match in here. It's a match. This is 2018, because coming into 2019, you will have cue cards, boo. I can't yes. wait. I know, I know. Yes. Yes. Yo, for one second, I was like, who is it? Did he get and shout out, out to my man. I'm not going to say who he is. He's in the building. Y'all know him. Somebody be like, I can't take my nowhere. He's in the building. We gonna talk about that I real soon. But it's on Tuesday. We are at Turn Up Radio each and every Tuesday, eight to ten. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. As a matter of fact, oh, while somebody in, we, we already took like an eight-hour break. Bring him in so for Who's we bringing in? The bring in the guy who just stepped into the building. I uh, please bring this guy in who just stepped into the building. That's a great introduction. That was worse than my intro for what's his face. <laughs> and and I, 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 know because I, I don't want to say who's here with me. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 before, I want to say I'm just very honored that this person is here. I'm happy he's here. This is my family, you know, from day one. You know, and, um, I'm just always look out for me, you know. You always show up for me. Always show up. And, uh, hey, and look who's there. And he brought family. How you doing? Wow. Listen, if you don't know who this is, can't take my dad nowhere with me, right? Mm. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I got, you know, one of my mentors in the building. He goes by the name of T.D., Mr. Terrence Dean. How you doing, my brother? Phenomenal, great. It's Amazing. great to have you here tonight. It's great to have you in the building. And, um, You're annoying. We got some good business, man, you know, to discuss yes, you, first and foremost. Thank you so Thank much. You. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed, definitely, man. So we're here, you know, all here in the name of hip-hop. Good company. And, uh, T, what's going on? Everything, man. Happy World holidays. Around. Same to you, young man. <laughs> Give me some love, I love it. Love is love, we here, we here. That's what talking about, you know. Unity, you know, we gotta show each other more love these Absolutely. days. Absolutely. It's not fake love, we don't do that no more, we don't do that. We talked about that the other day. We talked about that, uh, two days ago. Mm-hmm. You know, and over the years. Yes, indeed. You know about uh, extend our hands, you know, help where we can fit in, and just being genuine. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, yeah. So what brings you to this part of town tonight, sir? Oh, I wanted to see you, young man, you know. <laughs> come see the man that's making a little bit some noise up here in the Bronx and the BX. You know, I'm from the BX, uh... And this is home? Oh, yeah. You know, so I'm from yeah. the Bronx, too, so... Absolutely. You know, we talk about school days, right? You said, uh... Just from Boston Road, I told you about my junior high school, you know, yeah. and school days and stuff like that. And, yeah. you know, seeing that picture brought me back to like, wow. Mm. Watching this, episode, like, you know, junior high school and all that. So, 2018, 2019, we have something great in the works. TV's here, so that means a lot of big things is about to happen. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. 92 Nine in the Bronx. Jenna. Am I, am I up to you? <laughs> it's so, my name is Jenna. So nice oh, wait. To, it's a pleasure. And you nice to meet you. Pardon, me. pardon me. Uh, I'm just curious. Since Jenna. Yeah, I'm going to ask the questions. So you spoke to Unity and projects. I think that's important. I'm black and white, so I'm always interested in two mm -hmm. projects you're working on that speak to unifying individuals, especially in such a tumultuous climate uh, with a certain individual at the helm. Uh, so what can we expect in 2019 from the Rough Rider camp? Uh... The Rough Rider well, camp. Rough yeah, ride. yeah, yeah. Like Rough Rider. Well, as far as Rough Rider is concerned, is with with me, I'm Rough Rider because we just family automatically. That's automatic. Like Absolutely. anything we do is going to automatically be Rough Rider uh, affiliated. But um, for me, TD, TD Entertainment, uh, 
I'm looking forward to bringing a lot of uh, the youth together, uh, artists together from various different parts of the country, uh, as well as the world, but I'll start off with the country and unifying them and putting them in different um, positions to be able to connect with each other. And as far as hip hop is concerned, I would love to um, see a lot of the artists that, um, that was here before and before that started, or just the ones that just getting, you know, that's fading out a little bit, or still up and still have a little run, to be able to connect with the, the youth right now. Mm -hmm. To be able to connect with them instead of looking at them like they're doing something that's so outrageously wrong, mm -hmm. pertaining to their raps and their lyrics. I think the way that we should be able to, um, to make the transition for them, that we teach them, that we give them some jewels, yeah. or we pass on things, or spoon feed them certain things instead of humiliating them. It's so funny you were just mentioning this because we were speaking about uh, the evolution, in this case, apparel. And I think sometimes there is a disconnect because there is no communication. I do think that would be very nice to see because it would clear up a lot of the disconnect that we see with the transition and the different genres of music and lyrics. Um, how, do you, how are you going to do that with children? Is it going to just be music? Are you going to incorporate sports? What, what else do you have? In I, think, I think this is a number of things. You know, again, like you said, like I'm saying, is I'm looking at uh, the way they, um, the things that they digest. You know, you know, you feed people the way they, the, the, and their DNA, the things that they like, pertaining to some of the games or some of the uh, social media websites or some of the music. It could be fashion, it could be art, it could be all kind of things. But you know, we can feed them through those different outlets or outlets that's even beyond that, that they uh, have interest in or don't have enough knowledge in that we can spoon feed them with their DNA of the things that they already um, affiliated with. What is your biggest obstacle, um, just in general, especially being someone uh, who's black and in charge and a male, mm -hmm. uh, biggest obstacle that you've had to overcome, uh, you can tell me overall or in the last year, I mean, your, your choice? Um, to be honest with you, I don't really feel any obstacles. That's great. I'm happy to hear I don't that. really feel any obstacles. <laughs> that gives me Again, hope. I think the only obstacle is yourself. There you go. That's Dan, true. Nice. That is very true. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Yes. Uh, and so what, as far as, and it's so funny, let me just clear this up because it's, um, I, I didn't know your nickname. Uh, and when I heard that TD was coming, I thought we were talking about TD Bank and they owe me a couple dollars. So yeah. I was, I was excited for three and a half seconds and I realized yes. that that wasn't the case. So I'm still just as happy to see you. But Thank you. You know, um, uh, getting back getting back on topic. Um, any any events you want to point out in the next? Because I mean, we're here. We are. Twenty nineteen. Happy New Year, by the way. Thank you. Okay. Happy New Year. Thank you very too. much. I'm looking forward to a clean slate. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, Jesus agrees. I'm praying. Um, so I'm hoping for a nice I'm here start. To see this young man right here. And, um, I'm gonna back away because I mean, this is like a personal. I'm just gonna get my refill my cup. No, no, it's all love. It's all family. Like we here. It's okay. I don't take anything personal because I would nah. I would be in therapy. I, I was. Yeah. I'm no longer. It's, it's <laughs> clear. It's clear. It's fine. I'll be over here. It's fine. Agendas of the film. Yeah. So, we look for some artists, right? Some talent. Let's talk about that. See, so, you know, what, uh, what's geared up? Oh, yeah, you know, right now, my ears to the streets right now, as it usually is. You know, I'm always around. I might be in various different uh, parts of the world and different statuses, of, but I always come back and go to where some of the mainstream or the underground or places where they have some of the jewels. You know, they say if you want to find some diamonds, they in the dirt. When we clean them up, I want to shine them right up. All find some of these diamonds in the dirt, baby, shine it up. Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, in the Bronx it, is it. And it's out here, man, you know. And personally, like, you know, in, in, in my personal opinion, growing up in the industry as a young cat and, you know, as a, a mm -hmm. old dude to some of these new up-and-coming artists, right? There's a lot of talent that's out here. And I feel, you know, and I'll be honestly speaking, they don't get the light and the recognition that they deserve. And, you know, the team effort can be a lot more. And that's where I want to be, you know, with it right now. Well, not right now, but just in general. That's my, you know, my, my, my way of thinking. If we had a lot more folks like us out there with the genuine and the, you know, the determination, the strong drive, it'd be a one-win. No question, definitely. 2019. Well, you got a platform, man, so this is what they're looking for, platforms that they can go on and be Absolutely. heard. You know, and everybody just want to get their opinion, their voice heard. True. And get everything, you know, that they have installed for everybody to hit them to get it out there. So you have that outlet. Absolutely. You know, we're going to make it work. 100%. We live here, 92.9 on the FM dial. We are live on the BX, 92.9. We are local, but we are still major. <laughs> and we're also streaming on that Real Deal FM app. Download it. It's free. It's clear. Also streaming on YouTube. 
on live stream, on Ustream, and all those things. And can't forget my peeps here on live. What up, live? Jenna H. What we gonna do? So, it's DMX's birthday too, right? Oh, yeah. It definitely. is. It is. Come on. Shout out to DMX. I got a story about X, man. About uh, <laughs> DJing at the school when it came out, you know, and they had me go through the back. I can't come through the front with my records. So, they had me go hop down the back of the school. I, what street is that on? And he came there with the dogs, man. Let him loose. They was nuts. Never forget that, B. Y'all, because I love y'all. But X, we're going to turn up for him. Jenna, Play any some, words? I, I had no idea. What do you want to hear, Jenna? I have such a professional cr crush on DMX because... We have an X fan back there. He's been the consistent since inception and unmatched on well, certain levels. Time, she's going and, crazy. And, and, and I'll be honest, I didn't, know, I didn't know who he was at first. And, I, and you were speaking, somebody was saying this with the AZ, Jay-Z. Maybe that was Flex. I don't know who. Whatever. <laughs> right? what, what, what was I listen to earlier? Horrible. Okay, so um, I don't know. I'm a junior. Uh, this is true. I didn't know who DMX was. My my brother is barking. He's listening to his Sony Walkman. I know people don't know what that is. Oh, it's a Walkman. So he's barking into, and he's you know he's he's really the white looking, more white looking sibling. So he's barking into his Walkman. I'm like, bro, you good? He's like, nah, it's DMX. Where am I? No, I'm like, I'm gonna have to ask about this later. And when I looked into it, I said, he was ahead of the game. Bottom line, absolutely. One of my favorite songs ever, and there's certain songs you used to skip over. I won't go into it. And then when you, it's like that treasure by accident, you didn't get to skip it quick enough, and it starts to play. And I'm like, oh. mm -hmm. you didn't know this existed till like two years after the fact. Bottom line is, thank you so much because <laughs> uh, you just made my whole day. I mean, that just changed everything for me. Thank you. That was great. Play some DMX. Yes, we are here in the building. Yes, we gonna get into. We are definitely gonna get into Jenna. Listen, that was the best. What are we doing? I'm sorry. So we still. Have <laughs> Okay. Oh, um, let me just end this. Uh, uh, save. How do I save?